Hey guys, it's Hink here, and boy do I have a spicy one for you today. So we're gonna be looking at a paper, and spoiler alert guys, it showed that you can gain one inch in four weeks from bee stings, okay? Bee stings to your pee pee. Yes, I'm not joking. We're gonna be breaking it down because believe it or not, this is actually a published piece of literature showing this. There's real science behind it, but we're basically gonna determine whether or not it's fact or crap, and if it helps exactly how much. And also, guys, every time I think of bees, I think of that Oprah gif where she's like, everybody gets bees! And like the bees are swarming around. Hopefully Callie can find that. Anyway, so the study we're going to be looking at is called The Effectiveness of Bee Stings to the Penis in Penis Enlargement and Dysfunction. This looked at a group of 200 men in Tanzania between ages of 20 and 50 that had a protocol of different progressive levels of basically sweet bee venom, or that's just the, the name for the actual venom from bee stings. They basically refined that venom, did some allergy testing to make sure these guys weren't going to go anaphylaxis and die. I'll put up the graph here. And so guys, what they did on this trial, as you can see here in this table, is that they would include, they would inject the bee venom at different doses and different intervals progressing over the four weeks. And then they would measure the size and not only the size, but the duration of the erection. One thing that I, well, actually, no, there's a whole bunch of things I didn't like, but when they measured, they just said they measured the length and girth with a standard 12 inch ruler. They didn't go into detail. They didn't say bone pressed, non-bone pressed. I mean, how are you going to wrap a hard ruler around a phallus? There's some details that are missing. But one of the key things, guys, is that they say, and I quote, within the second week, all penises got bigger. Okay, actually, I'm paraphrasing here. But that was what they noticed in the paper. And then they said, by the fourth week, all 200 men were able to have sex for more than 35 minutes with penis increased by 1.1 inches what the author in the discussion which i will try to leave a link to the paper in the description of this video but it says there's structures like peptides and enzymes and phospholipase and glycosidase that basically cause the erections and he also says the bee venom caused the veins in the penis to expand and it made the bigger the penis bigger and faster throughout sex and i was like wait wait what do you mean that made the penis faster throughout sex? But, you know, I'm not going to make fun of this, guys, because I'm certain that English is probably not his best language. And I am by no means fluent in English, and it is my primary language. They also mentioned that the bee venom can be a powerful antioxidant. So, guys, what do you think? I always say if it's too good to be true, it probably is. Now, one could argue injecting bee venom or basically getting stung on your knee a bunch of times every week is not too good to be true. But, guys, you're not, I don't care what you're doing, you're not gaining an inch and a half in four weeks of actual penile tissue and also you're not going to go from having an average sexual duration from five minutes to over 35 minutes from injecting bee venom so i'm calling bs on this and guys overall first of all this was not published in a peer-reviewed journal article yes it was published but it was not a peer-reviewed article for a reason guys peer review means a bunch of other authors read the paper and make corrections and adjustments before it's actually submitted and finalized there's no photo documentation. And, and quite honestly, guys, this paper is, once again, it's riddled with both spelling and grammatical errors. And no, English is probably not the guy's primary language, but still. However, here is a second paper here. And this says, sweet bee venom pharmacoacupuncture may be effective for treating sexual dysfunction. So this is a case report of a 51-year-old guy that had actually back problems. So he actually had a herniated disc at L5 and S1. Guys, if you haven't heard me talk about the importance of the nerves coming off your lower lumbar spine and sacrum and even up into your thoracic spine, so basically your entire lower back, it is crucial for actual erectile function and healthy penile function. And this guy already had a disc error. You have to take that in mind. Bottom line is that he injected sweet bee venom amongst other different types of kind of Eastern medicine. And he had a significant improvement in sexual function. And you can kind of see it on this graph here. If you look at the bottom, it actually details like erectile function, orgasmic function, sexual desire, intercourse satisfaction, and overall satisfaction. And then you can see the difference between the basically before and after treatment, meaning the post-treatment score is that teal line second from the top. It's dramatically improved. And they say that that blue line all the way at the top is actually a perfect score. So he had dramatic improvement with the addition of sweet bee venom. But there was also some cringeworthy parts of this paper where he says, subjectively, his words, the tone of his voice, and the look of confidence in his eyes all indicated success. 
It's like some kind of cheesy like romance novel. When you're looking at these papers, the discussion leaves something to be desired. They didn't talk about the actual, here's the actual physiology, or here's what the bee venom actually did. It basically just said it improved the vascularity, the erection quality, the hardness, and the refractory period. But it, it didn't actually say why. Now, combining these two papers, there's some consistency. Vascularity, duration of erections, and even a refractory period maybe is associated with sweet bee venom. I'm actually, that's not my argument of this. My argument is you're probably not gaining 1.1 inches in four weeks from getting bee stings on your D. So guys, this begs the question, is bee venom actually legit? Is it actually, is there actually real science behind it? Yes, there is quite a lot of real science behind it, guys. This is everything from basically anti-inflammatory to even anti-cancer properties. And so guys, I'm not going to bore you with all of these different substances, but Callie, if you'd please put that screenshot on the screen from this paper, there's things like the melatonin, the phospholipase A2, hyaluronidase, acid phosphatase, apamin, and you can actually see. So guys, if you want to see what these things are, just actually pause this video on the screen and just actually look through it. There's some real properties. The only one that I can see that could actually help primarily is just the histamine because it dilates the blood vessels. That could potentially help with, with blood flow and vascularity. But there's no compelling evidence that it does anything for actual penile enlargement. You could argue that it could be helpful because there are actually some neuroprotective, meaning some benefits to actually the nerves of the penis that could help with this. Here's a pretty cool diagram that they made where you can see like the anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory, the neuroprotective agents in bee venom. Here's a Healthline article that is actually all about the potential benefits of bee venom. So if you want to read about it, check it out. But bee venom is legit. I'm not trying to argue that there's not a potential role in medicine for it. I'm just trying to say... Not really when it comes to enlargement. So guys, final answer. Does it work for enlargement? I mean, guys, like, no. Come on, come on. Like, no, no. Hopefully none of you guys will like, hmm, maybe. And now if you want to go inject your D with bees and report back to us on r slash hink or r slash getting bigger, by all means do that. But here's an article here talking about how, no, guys, bee venom doesn't work. And here's another article here that actually has to address because there is a satirical, meaning a joke article written about sweet bee venom enlarging the penis that people took too seriously. So no, guys, it doesn't work. If you want something that actually works, guys, traction devices, pumping, or even just manual stretches work, okay? There's actually published literature on it. And that's what I talk about in my course, guys. My enlargement course is live. I break down the actual medical literature, just like in this video, that is actually relevant for penis enlargement to give, bring to you a effective and quite honestly, a minimally time-consuming course that, that provides real results. I just showed pictures on my r slash ink subreddit of a guy who gained over a half inch in length in six months, documented before and afters. So if you want to check out those before and afters, just go to my subreddit r slash ink. If you want to check out my course, courses in the description below. Guys, just for fun, I came across this article. It was actually a Harvard review and it was actually looking at the legality of getting a bee sting on your D. So this guy was wearing shorts, bee flew up, stung his testicle, it hurt, and it triggered him to have this clinical question he wanted to answer. What is the most painful area on the body to get a bee sting? And he basically went back and forth from the institutional review board on whether or not he could actually conduct this trial. It's crazy. If you want to check it out, I'll include the link in the description. I'm not going to waste too much time with it here but there is a legal precedence for this, believe it or not. And so guys, one of the major things with bee venoms is just the risk. Here's a quote from one of the papers, okay? It says, of particularly note, a reviewed 145 studies on the side effects of bee venom therapy found that an average of 29% of people, so one in three people, experience significant side effects ranging from mild to severe after treatment, guys. Not only, guys, you have to keep in mind, the more repeated exposure to an allergen, the more likely you're going to be to develop an anaphylactic or deadly reaction to it. And those are commonly associated with bee sting. So if you're chronically injecting bee venom, there's a much higher likelihood you're going to have a severe reaction to it. So guys, if you want something that's much less risky, that actually is based on real clinical science for penile health, improving nerve function, arousal levels, and erection quality then please check out Vigor. It's available on Amazon. It's a top rated supplement there. And also I have our Fortitude out now. Fortitude is, a Viath, is available specifically on leviathansubs.com, but it has ingredients like horny goat weed. If you haven't seen my video on it, it helps with erection quality. It's literally a phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitor like Viagra, and it also helps with nerve regeneration. So check it out. So guys, there you have it. B venom is not going to help you in my opinion. If you want to test it and you're not allergic, by all means, more power to you. Do you run anything past your doctor, okay? Please don't take any advice from a guy, from some clown in a mask, okay? So 
Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, there's nothing wrong with self-improvement, but you are enough just as you are. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace and love, guys. And if you made it this far, don't forget to check out all these different ways to support me. I have all of my entire supplement line, including our basically semen boosting quality formula here, our testosterone boosting formula. I have my nerve regeneration formula. I have my fibrosis preventing formula here. We already talked about Fortitude and of course the OG and the classic Vigor. Those are available on leviathansubs.com and or Amazon. My hard flaccid course is probably live now, guys. So the link is in the description if you're recovering from that and go through a step-by-step -step guide with that. If you need to reach me, you can reach me on my patreon.com slash docink. If you need any products like high quality pumps for enlargement, check out peakmalephysique.com. And if you want to support the work that Callie does, you can buy him a coffee on his link in the description. And every purchase comes with 26K wallpapers, guys. So if you want to support him, check it out. Love you guys. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching this far. Peace and love.